of September I think Saturday my wife and I did a thing last night yesterday actually went and bought a new Super Duty I'll show that after uh, we're gonna go turn the 150 in to CarMax probably could have done Carvana or sold it like uh, to a private party but truth be told you got to deal with all the people coming and bickering and all that BS and got time for that so take this thing over let CarMax buy it and then uh, that's what we're gonna use for our down payment on the Super Duty well that? goodbye trucky you are a good trucky you put in <laughs> that's a good put in a lot of work that truck that's a, good truck. a good truck <laughs> That's the gas. So right now it's in neutral, sis. So get on it. Watch the exhaust and you... Oh, you'll be all right. Keep your, Keep your feet. Don't put your feet down because you'll run them over. Oh. And then that, put, press that down. Oh, oh it died. It died. Is the gas TV, on? Okay. Yeah, it's on. Hey, wait, 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 Give it a little gas. Hey, you gotta get Give it when he pulls it. Wait, how do I... Right here. Oh. Oops, sorry. Keep it light, keep it light, keep it light. It should be. It should be alright. And then put your, put, put your foot here. Use your toe to push that down. And then put, put, push it.
push that down. That's the gear. That's how you shift. So. so push it down, it'll be in first gear. And you want to keep it, you hear it, and when you hear it going, you push it down again. Yeah, when it starts making a loud noise, give it gas. Give it gas. See? Yeah. Let go of the brake. Let go of the brake. Don't run into nobody. Don't turn too slow. Gag, Spuggy. That'll clean it out. Push yeah, right? Person, push down. That foot. Hey. <laughs> Hit the brake. Okay, so when you're going and you hear it getting really loud, then you push that down. And you push down, that down again. Go and it goes into second gear, then third gear. And then but, when you want to go all the way back up, you just pull it up. Yeah. I know. So, so now you're in. Gear, but to get higher. I want to put this one. Yeah. Yeah. For Caleb, huh? Yeah, the pepper jack. And then on the rest of them, maybe. Wait. Uh. <laughs> Good girl, Maybelle, get in the water. Come on, baby, come walk over here. Get in the water, pretty girl. Get in the water, Maybelle. Oh, you don't want it in the water? Huh, Bo? Dad, Mom's going to be mad at me. Then get out of it. Why are you staying in it?
All right, after a grueling route to get to these petroglyphs and taking my brand new truck in places I probably shouldn't have had a brand new truck, we finally found these petroglyphs, which were a little bit north of Chalfont Valley. It's called the Red Rock Canyon petroglyphs, I believe. So uh, we took a look around, flew the drone around them, and they were pretty cool. After seeing those petroglyphs, I had to take my truck into town and at least get it hand washed. It was absolutely filthy and I was about sick to my stomach with where we had taken it. So we got back to camp and decided to do a guy's buggy ride up to a place we call Lookout Point. Um, and we went and checked out a little area that we were going to ride the next day.
So the next day, we got up and got ready to go on a buggy ride with the entire family. It was about a 40-mile buggy ride, and we rented a couple side-by-sides from GSC Off-Road Adventures. There's a guy over there that runs that or owns it named Randy. Awesome guy. And this is like our fourth time renting a buggy from him. I highly suggest if you're in the area and you want to rent a buggy to hit him up.